for the first time, we are hearing directly from a decorated Green Beret who is being involuntarily separated from the U.S. Army for beating an Afghan police commander he calls a brutal child rapist. Last week, we told you about the case of Captain Dan Quinn and Sergeant First Class Charles Martland. Quinn left the Army on his own, but Martland is being essentially kicked out. Today, CNN obtained a statement from Martland in which the soldier says he had a moral obligation to act. In the statement provided originally to Republican Congressman Duncan Hunter, Martland writes, quote, kicking me out of the Army is morally wrong, and the entire country knows it. The alleged rapist whom he confronted is a U.S.-backed Afghan police commander who had allegedly tied a young boy to a bed and raped him repeatedly for up to two weeks, according to the boy and his mother, as well as according to other police commanders. Captain Quinn was with Martland when they physically confronted the rapist to send him a message, they say. Sadly, it was not the first time the soldiers had heard of this kind of abuse in this village, but they say they had previously been told by higher-ups in the Army that it was an Afghan matter and that there was nothing they could do about it. Half, however, the local Afghan government, the two soldiers say, was not willing to act. Charles and I just felt compelled to step in and um, you know, go around the government of Afghanistan and, uh, and handle the situation ourselves. In his statement obtained today, Martlin says, quote, the severity of the rapes and the lack of action by the Afghan government caused many of the locals to view our local police as worse than the Taliban. Both Martland and Quinn were relieved of their duties after the incident Congressman Hunter has written to the Secretary of Defense, but without intervention by the Secretary of Defense or by the White House, Martland's 11 years of service, which include two bronze stars having been earned, will end on November 1st. The Pentagon denies any policy telling soldiers to turn a blind eye to sexual abuse. Today, I asked the President's Deputy National Security Advisor, Ben Rhodes, about Martland. He couldn't comment on the case specifically, but he did say this. Well, Jake, uh, I, I don't want to comment on uh, issues that have to be resolved uh, in the chain of command uh, that would be out of, uh, you know, keeping with uh, established practice. Uh, I will say uh, that all of us were horrified to hear these reports uh, of the abuse that was taking place in Afghanistan uh, and certainly support efforts uh, to ensure that whatever partners we're working with in Afghanistan uh, abide by basic human rights.